What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. Well, what in the world is inside of this box? It's, it's a mystery box. It is not marked at all. It's a mystery box. Okay, how is it that I never know what's coming to this house? Because I order everything without ever telling you. So I guess we will unlock this mystery right, right after, after this. this. So if you're new to our channel, welcome. Like I said, my name is Joe. And I'm Rachel. And we're Two Crazy Ketos. And here on our channel, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. I just wonder what's in this box. I told you, it's a mystery box. Why is everything a mystery that comes to this house? Because if I tell you what I'm ordering, you'll kill me when I before I order it. Really? Yes. Well, are you at least proud of me for not just opening these I things I am when they really come? proud of you because I always have to worry. I like, oh my gosh, like there's a UPS package coming. Is Rachel going to be home? Because like I don't want her to open it up because then it spoils the surprise. Well, I can appreciate that, but I'm glad like, you know, you're not ordering a lot of like meat that I don't know about or livestock or something. Well, I am ordering chickens, but I'm not going to buy them online. I was going to buy them online and have them mailed to me, but I'm just going to go to the store and get the live chickens. Oh, dear Lord. You ready? Do you want to see what's it's in this box? It's never dull. It, there's never a dull moment. Yes. Well, people would... always ask, like, how do you get such a great reaction out of Rachel? Because she really doesn't know what's no in the box most of the time. I no idea what's coming to this house. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm always ready. Okay, here we go. Because I know what's I know what's in here. Well, I would hope. <gasps> Grapow! Grapow! Oh my gosh! Look at this. So we've got four different flavors here. Oh my gosh! So if you don't know what Grapow is, we in our keto crate got this this little yes, package. We this did. is a sample package of Grapow. It was this so was the good. Snickerdoodle, and Grapow. we loved it so Grapow. much. I'm excited about this name. This is going to be like my next, dang! We right? loved this stuff so much, I immediately sent an email to the owner of the company. Mm. I love you too. I'm so excited because that stuff was so tasty. Yeah, so we sent an, uh, an email to the owner of the company, who obviously they don't sleep either because they were answering me at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Vampires. And uh, we had a nice conversation over like email. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, they even gave us a coupon code, which is two crazy ketos. Oh, you. And uh, that will give people 10% life, off. Sir. So we've got four flavors. They have a bunch of different flavors on their website. I ordered the ones that I thought would be interesting. Okay. So we've got well, Rosie's. Wait a second. Can we just take a, a tick and like. Um, Totally appreciate this packaging. The packaging is awesome. I was right on because one of the reasons why I really liked it was because I was thinking comic books. stuff. Yeah, because you really didn't know it with this. Kapow! Kapow! <laughs> it really reminds me of like the old fashioned, you know, Batman with, with Adam, Adam West. West. Yeah, yeah, that's and that was my favorite show growing up. So there's no Batman better than that one. It was like funny. Sh should I get you some gray leotards and a blue cape? <laughs> Well, do you want to go over this stuff? Yes, I do. Okay, so like I said, I ordered yeah. the flavors that I thought were interesting. So the first one we got is Rosie's Apple Pie. Oh my okay? goodness. And what these are is they're cookie granolas. Okay? So they taste very good. They're supposed to be like a cereal kind of granola. So this one is PB&J Thumbprint, which I pre-keto loved peanut butter and jelly. Me too. So Who doesn't? I'm excited about that one. Then we've got Salted Caramel Brownie. Oh my gosh. And then this one was Amaretto Biscotti. Okay, I was... And just looking in, look inside that bag, look at all those almonds. I was I not aware of any flavors. Yeah, there are some other flavors, like they have the Snickerdoodle, but these are the ones that I'm like, oh my gosh, I would really want those. Heck yes. High five. You did so, good, like, picking flavors. Okay, so now one thing you are going to notice in here, like this one is a little, like, Moist. melty. So one of the main ingredients, before you even get into the ingredients in this is they use coconut oil and that's what kind of makes it into forming a granola. Okay. And so we're ordering it during the summer. I believe they're based in Washington, D.C. Uh -huh. So it's kind of hot. And so they do tell you it's almost guaranteed it's going to melt. 
just what what I did was when I got them, I stuck them in the refrigerator. It kind of made it like chunk up a little bit. Oh, nice. So, and they do also tell you there's no preservatives in here. So they said the best thing to do to prolong the shelf life more than if you're not going to eat it within a couple of months, store them in the fridge. So now I should look forward to nondescript boxes in our refrigerator. Like there may be a human organ in these. Like I don't know what is in this now. Well, do you want to get into these? Absolutely. So let's go over... Okay, I love the fact that I can actually read this. Okay, so this one is the PB&J thumbprint. Prints made for old men. The ingredients, peanuts, coconut, extra virgin coconut oil, non all with asterisks, by the way, non-GMO erythritol, walnuts, uh, sunflower seeds with an asterisk, almonds, free-range eggs, wow, pecans, nice. coconut with an asterisk, Himalayan pink salt, raspberry extract, grass-fed bovine collagen, raspberry stevia extract, aluminum-free baking soda, and the asterisk means organic. Well, they're really going the, the next level with the free-range eggs. Yes. So there's 10 servings in this bag. Um, this is a substantial bag. A serving size is one ounce. Okay. We should get our scale so we can measure out an ounce. Yeah. Um, there's 160 calories in a serving, 15 grams of fat, four grams of protein, seven total carbohydrates, two grams of dietary fiber, three grams of erythritol. So that's going to bring that down to two net carbs per serving. I was trying to look and see if there was any like lower calorie. It looks like there's 10 lower calories per serving in the Amaretto, Biscotti, and Rosie's Apple Pie. And it looks like most two. of them are pretty much the same. This one is eight grams of carbohydrates, three fibers, three sugar alcohol. So that's two net carbs. Seven, two, and three. So it'd be seven. Two minutes. net carbs. Yeah. This one is nine grams of uh, total carbs, three fibers, for erythritol, so again, so they're all two net carbs, varying between seven and nine total carbohydrates. Nice. Okay, so okay, so they do have a little saying, again, he told me this over the phone, but I'm gonna read it on the back. It says, our story, long before the KBC got started, because it's the keto baking company is who makes this, it says, I began using the ketogenic diet to reclaim my health. Along the journey, I became inspired to help others to do the same and began taking steps towards becoming a naturopathic doctor. Wow. I have rediscovered my love for baking and creating a lifelong lover of cereal. I created this granola so that I can have it both ways. We at KBC believe that eating healthfully does not have to mean eating blandly, which like is why that. now we are sharing this with you. I am so excited because let me tell you, it was kapow for real. It was really good. Taste wise. For Let's do this. Real. Let me go grab a scale and I want to measure out like how big is a serving. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So how cool is it? It actually has on the back, like, what is the date that they produced yeah. this? I, that's why they said they, they really, it's, it, it's supposed fresh. to be two months, but they're saying put it in your refrigerator, really prolong it. So we have a little bowl here. We have our scale. This is the best scale. If you guys have not seen this, I'll leave a link down below. It's from eTech City. Mm -hmm. But what this one does is you can link it to your phone and you put your stuff on here. And over on the side, you can say what I have in here. Now, it's not going to have this particular, but if you have, like, say, <laughs> steak or something like that. Specific. And over on the side, it'll list all of the nutrition information. So what? if you put, say, ribeye steak over here on the side, right over here on this little blank screen, it'll say, like, this. that's how many calories are in that ounce. That's how much fat is in there. So you can have everything right on here. And you can actually use that app as like your food tracker, like instead of using chronometer or anything like that. Okay, so full disclosure, you would answer questions about what we were eating. I did not realize that you had this little cheat sheet going on on this scale. Well, you, I again, like, I don't do really use that part as much. Some of sometimes I do. All of those things. Sometimes like, I do know it off the top of my head. I thought you were a wizard. <laughs> But it's great because you can, again, if you're, let's say you're having steak or ground beef, yeah. you put it on here, I've got eight, you go on your phone, eight ounces of ground beef, or I have ground beef, it measures it and then puts it right in the app. That's how many calories you ate and you don't have to do anything. Oh my gosh, because won't you do anything to reduce your time spent on like, oh putting, yeah, like tracking stuff? Tracking stuff. It's, it can take up so much of what your time. What flavor are we going to try? I know you're going to want to open them all up. I am, but I want to start off butter. with peanut butter and jelly thumbprint. That is exactly what I wanted to taste. Okay. I can't even remember the last time I had a peanut butter so and jelly sandwich. Can let's, you? No. Okay, so this is inside. Can you smell? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so So let's so measure good. out an ounce of this. 
Okay, that is impressive. So that's that's gonna be an ounce serving. That's that's a pretty decent amount. That's now, obviously, we're not gonna eat a whole ounce because no. we wanna try them all. Yeah. Okay, so that little ounce is gonna be, again, 160 calories, 15 grams of fat, and this flavor is seven total carbohydrates. So we only wanna take a little piece of each one yeah. because we are still in the middle of cut down the keto con. I can't wait for this to be over. I know, but I'm so thankful for these little nuggets of happy. So again, this is like how kind of how it is, and then you've got like the little slivers of like almonds and things like it. that. Like here's a little, like a little nut or something like that. You can see all but the But you can see how everything is in there, but again, it's all compressed together with coconut oil. So if it comes a little melty, Give it a good squeeze. Make sure it all compresses. Stick it in that refrigerator. And... Are you yes. ready? Yeah. Um. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is crazy flavorful. It is so good. It is sweet. It's it is really crunchy. sweet. And again, they're it's... using... What are they using oh again goodness. for their... They're using erythritol, but it's not erythritol. Like, you get the graininess of erythritol. But I'm not getting, But like, I think that all of the, the other ingredients, I really feel like all of the other ingredients are kind of getting rid of, like, that cooling effect. I do not have any But you do get effect. that graininess, so you feel like you're eating pieces of sugar, right? Yes. You in know the, what this reminds me of? the way. Okay, so you would go to the store, or you'd have cookies, you'd make cookies, and then you always had the crumbs at the bottom, mm -hmm. right? Or you take but a bag and roll. And, but they're not burnt. Just the crumbs because things would break. Yes. That's what this is like eating. Oh my gosh. Am so I wrong? Good. No, it is it's this, so good. Let's put that wow. flavor away. I don't know that I would like put milk on that and eat it like cereal because it's so good. I just want to taste it. I just want to eat it. Yeah. I mean, I know he says it's, you know, he did it like a cereal. You can eat it ways, but that one is good. Pow! <laughs> Okay, what flavor are we gonna try next? Um, I do like the fact that there's a zipper pouch. So they all have Ziplocs on the top so you can close, close it back, it back up. up. Uh, let's try apple pie. Apple pie, let's measure out an ounce. Just so we see each one, because obviously the ingredients I want to in each this. one are gonna change. Oh my gosh. What is this? I'm glad I got coffee. Oh, it's a fresh saver. <laughs> Don't eat that, that's not, a, that's not a cheese it. Smell that. Oh man. You guys need to smell that. Boy, uh, can that... you smell that? <laughs> <laughs> can you smell what the rock is cooking? Oh my god. I don't even want to eat it. I just wanna It's this, a candle. It's it's better than a candle. It's like a Yankee candle. It's like a Yankee candle apple pie. Scale turned off. Wow. wow, that's an ounce. Okay, so here, so here's a good idea of how it should come if it's not Kinda all clumped. melty, like clumps like that. But that doesn't so make me upset. So that's an ounce. Obviously, that that's a big piece that's in there. Yeah. So you could break that up, and there's little slivers of almonds. Let's just break one of these in half. Yeah. Here. Oh, thank you. Just grab an almond. Yeah, give me an almond. Right. I'm about to get emotional. Wow. Wow. That is like an old fashioned spiced apple pie. Oh right? It's not, it is, a, that is a spiced gosh. apple pie. Am I wrong? Where the heck has this stuff been? I don't know. I've been doing keto two and a half years and I. Oh my gosh. Have you been missing apple pie? Like, I'm looking at what the together. spice is. I mean, that, yeah, allspice. Allspice, nutmeg, vanilla extract. Can you imagine? Ginger and cloves. Can you imagine putting that on top of I some ice cream? I just this, yes. Well, that's what I'm thinking. That is ridiculous good. Boy, Pow! We're gonna have to be really careful after cut down the keto con. Oh my gosh, I wanna eat that whole bag. I'm gonna have to hide these. I'm gonna have to give these to the kids and have them hide them from me and you. Yeah, I was gonna say uh, you're not gonna be able to handle it. It's so good. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to zipper it closed. It's a little tiny zipper. We'll worry about that later. Are you having zipper problems? I'm having zipper problems. Okay, and what's next? Um, I don't oh. want to end on amaretto. Let's let's or yeah. Let's have that one next, and then I want to. Wow, that is got brownie. such a good spiced apple pie. Like I can't get the apple pie out of my mouth. I almost wish we had ended on that one. 
because I can't imagine anything being any better than that. <laughs> this one is really like a granola. You can even see through the bag, right? And Look of all it. of the ones, it seems the less like melty. Yeah. So like, oh, look at that. Oh piece. wow. So I bet you that's an ounce. I bet you that's an ounce. Let's say. How much? Want to bet? Turn it back on. I think it's less. I think it's less than an ounce. Oh, half ounce. Yes. Wow. Okay. There's I. I got a lot of the slivered almonds, so that's an ounce that's of nice. this one. That is not bad. Let's just do the big granola piece. So just biscotti. Big I like biscotti. I it's love biscotti. It's been a biscotti. long time. And, you know, I'm I like, did I'm figure a dunker, out how to make one. Like, right? I'm a coffee dunker. I did figure out how to make a biscotti. And one of these is I'll actually put that recipe up. Wow. That's good. Wow. What's the berry taste? Is there a cranberry in there? Mmm. Dang, that's I don't good. see a berry, but I taste berry. Don't you taste berry? So they have a little quote on the back that says, so good you'll think you're cheating. You are. Seriously. I don't know. Sunflowers, pistachios. I don't know what the what the berry flavor that's there coming through to me. There is a berry flavor that's coming through. But I don't Almost see like one you would have had a cranberry biscotti. Yeah, I don't see one. Pistachios, sunflower seeds, almonds, coconut. That is crazy. That is that incredibly is crazy. Good. I thought that that would be dull. Honestly, I thought of all of the ones that would I would like that the least. I think so far that's honestly my favorite one. I well, I still think that the apple pie is my the favorite. The apple pie has got the most amount of flavor, but I don't but know that, that is, is crazy this is good. bugging me that I can't zipper this. <laughs> Did I rip the zipper? And we could always put it in a um, Halloween themed zipper. I think I ripped the zipper off. Okay. That's so what this, she said. This is Salted caramel brownie. So now this is, it looks like this is the one that the 95 degree heat outside. But it that should we're probably doing. have some chocolate in it or yeah. something. So this is the one that the heat kind of hit the most. Ooh. Too much. Too much. That's probably a half ounce. Here you go. So that's an ounce of the salted caramel brownie. Focus. There we go. Ready? All right. I don't want to overdo it. I feel like we didn't we cheated ourselves on that one, didn't don't you? I feel like we cheated ourselves. Did we cheat ourselves? We need more of that one. I think so too. Okay. That is good. I don't get salt to caramel. I don't get salted caramel. I get brownie with a hint of caramel. I get brownie. It's pretty good, but like I'm gonna have to have one more piece of like one of the other ones because that is my least favorite of all of them and we ended on it. Why? You're just looking for an excuse to eat more. No, I'm telling you, that that is my least favorite one. I mean, it's okay, but it's not as like action-packed as the it's, other ones. It's definitely, I mean, it's really good, but again, it's. I would say it's not my favorite one out of them all. The other ones are so grapal. <laughs> okay. Here, I can't close this one, so. All right, good, because that's the one I want. Awesome. Ending on apple pie now. Now, I'm going to say, I love this one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I did. See, look, I ripped the zipper off. We'll just have to eat the whole bag. That's how that works. Wow, that's good. I want to say, if you don't like spiced apple pie, don't buy this flavor. Oh, okay, yeah. This, this is, I mean, if you like just spiced apple, like a spiced apple cider, that's what you're drinking. This is like eat, this is like eating a spiced apple cider. Ever go into Joe and Fabrics or Michael's and you smell that like um, cinnamon broom Yeah, but I'm not talking like, about I smell. I wish I could I'm talking eat about that. like flavor think about a spice when you get like a hot toddy like right where you get like the apple like spiced apple cider or apple cider and you throw in some cinnamon and nutmeg and you get it hot on the stove that's what this is like yeah but sometimes i want to eat smells 
And that's what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you don't like the really spiced apple pie, don't buy this one. Oh, but okay. it's so good. So real quick, and then we'll go to five things. Again, there's other flavors. So we're just gonna rank the ones that we've got. I'm gonna go first. Okay. My absolute favorite is probably gonna be this amaretto. I am actually surprised at how good that is. That one, I don't know. This one is kind of like toss up, two, three, and then this one. So order that I would probably buy it, probably this one. I would probably, my my next one I would probably buy is this one, then this one, and this one. Just because you have to really be in the mood for that spiced apple. Yeah. That's that's my order of, I can only buy one, which one am I buying first? This one, this one, this one, this one. All right, so I would probably, honestly, I, I'm gonna go the same. Like, I really like this, this um, amaretto biscotti. It's really flavorful, but not overpowered with a spice or something like so that. So I think this is gonna be like, everybody in the house is gonna like this. Yeah. Um, I'm going to switch though. I That apple pie is like, get this and put it on ice cream. If you want flavor, then this, this if you want to just be shocked with flavor. And this done. is very good. Yep. I They're like honestly that. all good. This was, I'm, I wasn't a huge fan of this one. Yeah. It was like, okay. That one, I mean, I liked it. It just wouldn't be my go-to, but my go-to a lot so of many times other ones isn't that are like, chocolate. I'd love to order the rest of the flavors at some point. Oh my gosh. So. That and is by insane. the way, just to give you an idea, these two actually have 10 less calories per serving. And these, <laughs> and uh, also, so this one here has nine total carbohydrates. All right. This one has seven, but that's because this one's loaded with like almonds and pistachios and everything else. Uh, so this good. one has seven total carbohydrates. This one has seven and this one has eight. Drink, eat this with your coffee, put this on your ice cream. This probably would make the best cereal. Yes, definitely. Like if you wanted to put a little bit of almond milk or something. Let's move these back so they're all in the shot. I feel like the peanut butter one would be good with cereal yeah. too. You want to put these through five things? Five things. Five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're going to talk about the ingredients. Um, does it keto based on the nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? And I think everybody can answer every question right now, but we will go through all five things. Right. Okay. So. Just taking our favorite ones, both of them, the ingredients, number one, um, coconut, non-GMO erythritol, extra virgin coconut free range oil, eggs. pistachio, sunflower seeds, almond, coconut, free range eggs, walnuts, Himalayan pink salt, grass-fed bovine collagen, stevia, you know, I mean, aluminum free baking soda, everything is organic. They haven't cut corners in There's any There's no way, cutting shape, corners or anywhere like that. So definitely, uh, Two thumbs up, four thumbs up. You know what they the get? For th they get a uh, grapel on ingredients. <laughs> so number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? So 150 calories, 13 grams of fat, six grams of saturated fat, only four grams of protein. So you're so still you're looking at higher a much higher amount of fat. fat than protein because again the owner was a keto person or is a keto person so they get it. They're not some company going, "Hey, let's say this is keto, but it's yeah. really not because it's so much higher in protein." And I love as a total carb person. Yes. I love that there's only and this is the biggest one, 9 grams of total carbohydrates. You can and then when you look it. into these other ones, 7 grams of total carbohydrates. So if you're a total carb person or if you're a net carb person, you can enjoy a treat. Even my bars. You're not left out. Yeah, cuz even my bars are 11 and 12 total carbs for the better bars, right? This is going to rival some bars. And when you think about some of the keto cereals that are coming on the market now, I mean, the bottom line is most of them are 14, 15 total carbs. They're low in net carbs, but a little bit higher. I love that I can have something so sweet, so flavorful, and not kill my total carbs for the day. I'm telling you, though, I'm not pouring milk on top of this. I'm going to, like, drink it with a glass of, like, That's milkadamia on the side and then eat this. Yep. So that I get all of the crunch. So this absolutely keto is based on the nutrition. So level. for number two, it gets a pow. <laughs> number three, how does it taste? They're all awesome. It's. it's I mean, even the, our least. We're just saying, like, when we're saying not, we, this is our least favorite. It's just because the other ones are so much better. Yeah, but it is like it really is surprising like do shocking you wanna ref it's been like a week or a couple of weeks do you want to refresh yourself yeah, on, on the snickerdoodle? snickerdoodle you really do feel like you're eating something you're not supposed to because it's that now, this good. one's gotten a little crunched up but 
You, oh, I was just gonna. That is snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. It really tastes like a cookie. Yeah. Wow. That is crazy. Like so, if if you like snickerdoodle, that is that is true to taste. Our next order will have to be obviously the other flavors. I will not order any more of these. I'm gonna be like Anthony when Wawa first opened down here, and he was like everything on the menu. He had to eat through the whole menu, right? He's like, I'm not ordering the same thing twice until I've eaten every single thing on the menu. Yeah. That's how I'm gonna do with this. I, there's a bunch of other flavors. They even have some nut-free flavors. So wow, we're going to eat through the whole thing. Is this my anniversary present? Like, because I'm excited. Like, this does not make me sad. Okay, so taste awesome. Uh, number four, how much does it cost? Oh, wait. So the taste gets a grapel. <laughs> grapel. So number four, how much does it cost? Um, okay. Okay, so. Did we sell somebody? In order to buy this, is it that I don't think it's that bad for a keto snack. Okay. okay. So each one of these bags is $12.99. Okay. Okay. So there's 10 servings in here. So that's $1.30 a serving. All right. Now that is not terrible so at all. You're looking at $1.30 a serving, $1.30 for 150 calories. Now even look at, again, my favorite keto snack is a bar, right? Mm -hmm. I'm paying between two fifty and three dollars for a bar for two hundred and twenty calories. All right. So I'm paying a dollar less for about 80, 90 calories less. So I think it really falls in line with if you're eating a bar, this is the same price range. Yeah. Right? It's so so twelve ninety nine for a bag. And again, we do have a coupon code. They did we did get them to give us a coupon code of two crazy ketos. Awesome. That will get you ten percent off. And they also do ha also have random other sales. Like um I actually got these with the Father's Day sale they had. So and I think the Father's Day sale was even twenty percent off. Oh so, nice. Um what else? So, so everything's reasonable for prices. Yep, so it's, oh, twelve ninety nine. They also sometimes have other packages where you can get like a sample of new flavors for like a little bit of a discounted price. You get three or four bags for a little bit less money. I was going to say, is there one where you can try them all? Yeah, well, they have this. So this is a sample package and they have, you buy four different, like four of them. Okay. So it comes with four flavors. You can pick which ones you want? No, they're already picked. Oh, okay. Um, but they, what it is, they have two different ones. They have four in, four of them, like one of each flavor or four different flavors, and they have another one for the nut-free ones. Oh, okay. And that one is like two and two. And so you two get four of these packs. Do you remember that? What was that? Yeah, it that was, was Chuck Woolery. It was, it was the, the newlywed game. No, it wasn't the newlywed game. It I'm, was it was the one where they went on a date. It was I it thought it was the dating new, game. I could have sworn. Which one was it? Solved this argument. I could have sworn it was the newlywed because I remember no, watching the newlywed, newlywed game, game. And he was it like was Chuck Woolery, and he'd be like, "We'll be back in two and two. In two minutes and two seconds. Yeah, three, two minutes and two seconds. But what was the name of that? I don't know. We're gonna have to look it up. I'll try to put it in the video. Okay, so the sample packs you get four of these packages, and there is two ounces in each package, right? So two servings. Okay. Two ounces in each package, and it's eleven ninety nine. So you're getting eight ounces for eleven ninety nine, or you're getting this one here, which is ten ounces for twelve ninety nine. But you get a but you're, to try them all. I kind of like the little sample package. <laughs> you went threw it across the room. I, I I don't know. I don't. I didn't see on their website. I would love to be able to buy just like ten of this because it'll probably tempt me to not eat as much. Yeah. So even if I was going to eat the whole bag, you could go and I know. Take okay. Movies. I'm eating three hundred calories. I'm eating sixteen total carbs, or you know, four net carbs. But I would love to just. I'd probably buy a bunch of these. Yeah, because this is a little bit dangerous. Yeah. Okay. So finally. Okay. So price wise, we think it gives it a kapow. Kapow. Yeah. So finally, number five, would we recommend this? Heck to the yes. <laughs> yes, we would recommend it. And once again, that is why, I mean, as soon as we tried it, we loved it. I loved the ingredients. I can't believe you I got loved, them. That's I, awesome. I emailed the company. The owners were super nice. Immediately said, yeah, let's hook you up with a coupon code. Because I was like, we are reviewing this. Yeah, so, it's too delicious. Are, so, were you willing to sacrifice the total carbs, considering we're only eating 10 to 15 total carbs right now? Yes. I was just, it worth it? I will eat just was that a worth, stick of butter, and that's all that I was, eat tonight. Was sampling these today worth eliminating any vegetable that you get with your dinner? You were going to have a bowl of broccoli like this. Gone now. No. Gone. I don't want the broccoli. <laughs> I wanted this, like especially since it's Friday right now. 
And we're used to having dessert. And we haven't had dessert. No dessert. This is a fourth week of no dessert. And this felt I'm like alive. Dessert. She hasn't killed me. I know. It's been close. Few close calls, but this felt like dessert. This was delicious. So okay. So, so let us know down in the comment section, have you guys ever tried these? And let us know if you have tried them, what is your favorite flavor, mm -hmm. even if it's not one pictured here. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't tried that, which flavor would you be most interested in trying? Because I think as far as the number five go, we would give it a... Double Krapow! Krapow! <laughs> you need to do it. Let's see your friend. Krapow! So. I love it. Okay, so I'll leave a link down in the description for this. It's Keto Baking Company. Just company is CO. Mm -hmm. Again, two crazy ketos will get you 10% off. We're going to give these to Anthony so he can put them under lock and yeah, key. Yeah, they got to go be hidden on a hock and key. A hock and key? Lock and key. Yeah. So. If you like what you saw today, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to I'm going to go take these and hide them for myself. Until next time. Bye. bye.